punch. And so all that would happen is now, is the offensive guy would get him in a two point, and all they're gonna do is kick and punch. And that's all we want, is just a kick and a punch. So now this guy is gonna come out of his stance, he knows he's gonna get the punch, but all it is is again, we're simulating here, I'd get everybody all together, we'd all go, I'd go left shade, everybody down and ready. Ready, ball. We all just go at once. And again, all this is a kick and a punch. So now you're just working your rip swim off the edge. Okay, so let's give it a try. Ready, ball. Good. And then you just run through. Okay, and then you tighten it down. Good. And that's all it would look like. Then from there, we progress to three step. So obviously, it's a little deeper. Some teams, you know, uh, you're going to see are going to be a little bit deeper in high school. Maybe not as much, right? It might just be two steps and punch. But again, it's the same principle. So I'm here. Now it's going to be a kick, 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 and a punch. Okay. And so again, we want to we're really emphasize in this. This hand doesn't mean beans. At the end of the day, it's this if we're working the edge. Okay? So let's give it a try. We'll go three steps. Okay, so it's going to happen up field a little bit. Ready? Pull. Good. And then swipe and go. Good. Okay? And that's really good. And then off that, I would work counter. So you can do uh, three step and you can go counter. So, or two step, but it's kind of a little easier on two step. All it is is be one, two, punch. So now they're punching with the inside hand. And so that's your counter hand. Because at the end of the day, on a counter move, if I get this hand, this hand doesn't mean anything. Right? He can try and do this all he wants. At the end of the day, he's got to open his hips and let me come across him or to try and, to try and cut me off. Okay? As long as I can 